In a recent video, Black Pigeon Speaks really wants to argue that swaths of immigrants with low IQs are going to come in and ruin our country. And the whole thing is based on a very basic fallacy. Average national IQ also corresponds with outcomes at a national level. All basic requirements for modern civilization, democracy, education, wealth, health, and lack of crime and corruption are strongly related to a nation's average general IQ. His entire argument rests on the premise that IQ is correlated with all of these things because IQ causes all of these things, and nothing he just said supports that. Looking through his sources, this WordPress blog seems to be the source of this claim, and this seems to be the primary source. It's very easy to see how education could cause low IQ, as could many of these other factors. Black Pigeon Speaks seems incapable of recognizing this. Now, I don't want to misrepresent the paper, which is claiming that cold climates result and higher IQs via an evolutionary process. Not the same as saying race is real, by the way. But more recent studies seem to have debunked this notion entirely because cold climate is a predictor of IQ in the United States, even after controlling for race, and the United States has not been around nearly long enough for evolution to take place as a result of climate. When you look at the actual data, you find things like increases in immigration increase overall income. That every race realist's favorite adoption study held neither race nor expected IQ nor adoptive setting constant. And if anything, properly controlled adoption studies show that brown people have better IQs. I can already feel Black Pigeon Speaks recoiling and saying that we can't infer that much from a single study. The claims of race realists to justify ethno-nationalism are pure pseudoscience and should be ignored. Do not allow arguments like this to persuade you.